Cody Alexander Match Quarters, want to talk to you about targeted coverages. Now, this is a term that I've been asked several times, what does it mean? Uh, it's a term that I've kind of made up to talk about this, this scheme that we are starting to see more and more often uh, at a, kind of the higher levels of football. So we know what cover six is. This is non, non saving So cover six means that we are going to get quarter, quarter, half. We're going to play quarters to one side. We're going to play cover two to the other side. Now, typically and traditionally, that has been the quarter side is going to be played to the passing strength and the cover two side is going to be away. Now, normally that would be great. And traditionally, that's great because you are going to get get the zone double on the X receiver, whereas you would get kind of a box over the, the passing strength. But what do you do when you want to roll the cover two side or rotate the cover two side to the passing strength? You have to have a different call. This is where I think the Fangio system is unique. It's where they've created what is called cover eight. And that is where you are going to move the cover two side. You're going to rotate the cover two side to the passing strength. And that allows you in the NFL fell primarily and then more and more often at the college level you're moving your star receiver from one side to the other and so when we can rotate the coverage or roll the coverage to a different way that gives us more of a targeted way of doing it a more formationally based way of doing this so if we're already uh blitzing to the formation btf or we are um kind of having formation checks within our system, it makes sense then that we always want to do that the same way in coverages, which would allow us to, to rotate the cover two side. Now, when I say rotation, typically what you're thinking is, oh, this is cover three. But now we can do this in a split field look. And so this is something that I want to talk about briefly, Spangio Zeus call. I wrote an article on it. I'll make sure it's tagged below. But you can have a rotation within your quarter scheme. And I think this is a clever way of doing it. So I want to break down the Zeus tag first from Fangio, and then I'll show a clip, and that will kind of wrap things up for us. All right, so let's roll into this. Let's talk about these targeted coverages. So this is going to mean nickel eight. This is going to be a Lou call, meaning that we are going to rotate the coverage to the left side. We are going to get a deep hook. The key here is that your nickel is going to carry the vertical. We're going to play a half by the, the field safety. All he's going to do is work to a deep half, and he's going to apex, and we're going to have a squat or a soft corner, meaning that he is not going to take anything under five, and he is not going to undress the safety. So he is going to work vertically. If, if one and two both go vertical, he is going to sit underneath the vertical of one. Now, on the back side, we're going to get quarters. So we're going to have a mod corner on the back. We'll have a quarter flat with the wheel, meaning he's going to get vertical, and then he'll take anything to the flat. And we'll have what's called a tricks safety a poach safety. Solo is a great coverage here. So a lot of times in this particular coverage, so talking about targeted coverages in this particular setting, a lot of times teams will just default to solo if they get a three by one. Well, what if you do if you don't necessarily want to do that all the time or we want to create more of a formationally based system, you can have this nickel eight. So normally we would get this look if we have to tag solo in something. Uh, now what we get out of this is if we have a two by two, we're going to play quarters over here, but to the nickel, we're going to play cover two. So it's a zone-based defense placing the cover two side to the nickel strength. We're going to have a stuff call, which means we're going to stuff a receiver X. We'll have an eight or we'll have a quads call, which gets us into cover four. So here is basically how Zeus works. If we have the star receiver out wide at number one, then we are going to roll the coverage to him. So we can do this. And again, we get that tricks look and we're essentially going to be man to man. I'm not worried about that because the star receiver is now outside. So here we have a Roy call. So now we're going to rotate this. This would just be a stuff call or normally what people would refer this to as is cover six, right? So when all we're doing is running quarters over here, we have a quarter flat. We're going to stack number two. We're going to stack number one. We're running our quarters and then we're going to have a cover two side over to the other side. Now on this one, what do we do when we have the slot in? They will check to quads because now we have a double here. Right. We have the nickel bang to buzz over here, quarter flat on number on number two. And then we have a safety stacked on top of them. And then we're soloing these outside guys and then we'll have a trick safety. So if he does leak inside and they push out wide, 
will be able to buy a poach tag back here. So it's a way that you create layers in the defense. And I really enjoy the way that they do this. And this is what I'm considering targeted coverage. And so finally, what do we do when we get four by four in the Fangio scheme? They do not run a lot of quarters. I think it's a misnomer. A lot of people think Fangio's scheme runs quarters. They don't. They are a quarter-quarter half, half-quarter-quarter defense when they run their split field, field stuff. Now, why are they like that? He's a big, weak rotation guy. The system's a big, weak rotation system. And so when you put quarters on the backside, you can hold that too high shell and you can play a lot of weak rotation. It really mutters the waters for the, for the quarterbacks. So this is typically when we're going to see this. Let's look at one clip by the Ravens who are another team that runs a lot of targeted coverages versus the Dolphins so that we understand kind of the conceptually how this system works so here we have Baltimore versus Miami the first thing that we need to identify is who is the star receiver going to be here's Tyree Hill down here at the bottom so we are going to get our cover two rotation here so we're going to have a, a squat corner we're going to have a big half and then we're essentially going to play man coverage here and then we're going to have a hash safety and then we're going to have a quarter flat defender here we're going to have a wall two defender here and then this would be our three drop so that's how the coverage is going to set up pre-snap so as we get going off of this we're going to get motion so you can see right here as we get motion we're going to get this boot action you can see 28 here on the bottom plays a really nice cover two technique this is going to be soft technique you can see we're working out to our half once Tyree Kill goes across, this is where the quarters concepts come in. So once we get this, you can see now that we are going to have a flat safety fall off or a flat corner fall off. Our deep half safety is going to stay on this. Notice our corner up top is locked down. We also have a flat defender here. This is going to be our three drop because here's number three. So who's going to take Tyree Kill on this over route? It's going to be our cover for safety who's going to nail down on the other side and the way that this defense has created a, a system is now that we have layers on this I don't have a safety who's working out now have to turn around and nail down trying to come across in fact we've leveraged the crossing route by having a deep safety on the other side that's why I think we're seeing so much more too high shell coverages and getting closer to closer to 50 50 in terms of middle to field close middle to field open in the NFL so you can see right here, he comes and nails down on it. And then what we end up getting on this is an overlap into the post. And then the corner just essentially plays man coverage over the top. And the safety does a great job of punching this out. So this is a good example of targeted coverage where we get an even set, but we're going to run the cover two side to Tyree Kill. We're going to run the quarter side to the other receiver. And what we end up getting is layers in the coverage and a natural nail down. The safety has him. He's got a head start on him and he can nail down, forcing Tua to throw a long ball, which uh, is not something that the Dolphins want him doing at volume.